Grand Amiibo Tournament number four. Brought to you by Guinness. They set world records. Yeah. Semi-finals, round we one of two. Empty shell. Empty shell. Thomas. Empty shell will be fighting. Mr. Saturn. Mr. Saturn. It's going to be an interesting one for Mr. Saturn. An empty shell as well. So Mr. Saturn's all about uh, launching himself into people, and empty shell just wants to stay away. Um... For the semi-finals, though, we're bumping it up to three, and we're taking away the time limit. Alright. Mr. Saturn versus Empty Shell. We're in the Lilac Cruise. Oh, Lord, I hate this stage. It's not that bad. It's a solid platform. Oh, yeah, we're in the Mega. Yeah. Oh! And first damage from Mr. Saturn launching himself into the empty shell. Just lay in the hurt! What is he doing? He's... He's toying with him. Jeez, Mr. S Mr. Saturn can absorb empty shell's energy blasts. He doesn't absorb that one, though. No, well, he absorbed it with yeah. his face. He absorbed it with his face and not his psi shield. Empty shell jumping over with a screw attack. I'm oh! Very pleased with the beginning of this match. We've got very two different oh, fighting baseball styles. Bat. Jeez! Oh, you heard that one connect. Empty shell somehow staying staying together after all this damage. And experience. My friend. experience. experience. Nearly launched. Jeez, Mr. Saturn, not letting Empty Shell have a chance. Popped in the face again. Uh oh, nearly at a at a. Finally, gets Mr. Saturn off the stage. Oh, are you kidding me? Why would you do that, Empty Shell? For a launch recovery, almost taking out Empty Shell. Almost. Both combatants above a hundred percent now. Empty Shell at a, at a considerable disadvantage. Yeah. That's going to do it and for Empty Shell. Yeah. Down to two eyes for Empty Shell. Mr. Saturn definitely holding himself together. Mm -hmm. Empty Shell needs to play a different game if she Smash wants to win. Play. Uh -oh. Uh oh And Mr. Saturn got it. He gives Empty Shell no room. And, oh, wait, that's right. We're doing three stocks. Is Empty, is Mr. Saturn going to take another flawless victory? He could very well be our next champion. I would not be surprised if he is. Oh, takes a solid hit. But that really doesn't matter considering he's still on his first life. Well, if he wants to take a, a, a third perfect victory... Flew right over his head. It's a good thing that Mr. Saturn is a short character. Empty Shell just doesn't know how to deal with Mr. Saturn other than grabbing him and throwing him away. <gasps> oh, oh! A well placed missile by Empty Shell! Leaves Mr. Saturn unable to recover. Now he was Oh, very well timed jump by Mr. Shadow. Mm -hmm. Jump and dodge, even. Ah, but Mr. Saturn still showing the veteran how it's done. Just strolling along after her. Ah, Mr. Saturn, you can. Oh, yeah, you can. Gain HP off the small one, but... Off of 
it down enough the big one and then shoot it on the small one. I mean, I would have tried to absorb both of them. Very nice dodge of that missile. Oh! Oh! Countered by empty shell from <gasps> the first one. Oh! PK Pulse! Oh! Or Flash, or whatever you want to call it. We dodge Flash. Flash! Ah. Sorry. <laughs> I am home. Damn it. Empty shell at 153%. Mr. Saturn almost doesn't get to recover again. I think empty shell's starting to learn. Get away from the edge when there's PK Thunderbolt. Yep. Oh, but that's going to do it for empty it. shell. That is it. A near flawless victory. Nearly flawless. Not flawless enough. Mr. Saturn loses his first life of the tournament in the semifinals and takes the win. What a. Very nicely done. We're on to the uh, last round of the semifinals. Who? And this is the one sided battle I was talking about. Mm. We will see just exactly how one sided it is. Come on, go away. It's gonna be Tesh and Mike and Ike. I think Mike and Ike has the advantage here. You never know, though. You never you know. You know, that last battle would hurt, did certainly make heads roll. Palutena's Temple. A very big stage for two combatants to go at it. And yet again, no home field advantage. No home field advantage. None whatsoever. Oh, Mike and I tries to get a solid sword slash on Pesh. Pesh. Yeah. Who did you think he was? No, just the the way the sword worked. Oh. Uh, kind of threw me off a bit. Where did you think he was from? Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, oh, uh, Mike and I at a hundred and eleven percent. Pesh only at four. This may be one side of the other one. Yeah, Mike and Ike is slow but powerful with his attacks. Pesh is quick. Oh, Mike and Ike almost gets a good hit. Pesh almost with a fatal mistake. Jeez, Mike and Ike has landed little to no damage. I think he's only gotten one hit in. Oh! And he's charging up at the wrong time. He's trying to do a point blank charge attack. There's a counter. Oh, there's a good sword there's slash. A, there's oh another no. one. He's just standing there. Analyzing each other. I don't know. It, he may be chivalry at play. It, it could be. The desire to not strike a fair maiden. But he has no choice. Smash, Smash ball, ball is in play, though. Oh! Oh, and there's the final smash! And that's definitely going to be enough damage. Oh, yeah. She's gone. Bouncing off the stage into the beyond. Mike and Ike at 93%, though. And Pesh just coming into her second life. At this stage, Pesh with the advantage. Mm hmm. There's another counter. Good shield by Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike needs to land some quick attacks if he wants a chance at victory. Pesh resting at 7%. Not looking. Oh, there's a counter and a destructive attack! Nice. Mike and Ike, now in the lead. But he's at 150%. There's another counter. Jesus. And that was up to 60-something percent from, like, nothing. And that was almost far enough to take her out. I think he's hit his rhythm. It's them counters. He has found his rhythm. He has realized that chivalry there is not this! a play and counter for the win.
three lives in a row. Just takes out the fair maiden when he realized she was nothing but a vile mistress in disguise. Mike and Ike moves on to the final round. Well, we are definitely going to have a new champion this time, and it's a fight between beginners. I wouldn't call them beginners at this point, Clutch. They're, they've they've earned their title to veteran status at this point. Mr. Saturn versus Mike and Ike. Three lives, final destination. Should we get rid of the Smash Ball? Yeah, do it, because... Whether or not, it's... This, needs, this needs to be a battle of skill and skill yeah. alone. No luck should come into play. Three lives, final destination, fox only, not fox only. No items. What the hell, fox only? What? <laughs> it's it's an old it's an old melee meme when uh, oh. diehard melee fans wanted to prove their worth against one another. It's final destination, no items, Fox only. Oh. <laughs> it's the same room, man. Here we are, the final round of the Great Amiibo Tournament number four, Mike and Ike versus Mr. Saturn. One, go. Who will win? Feeling each other out. <gasps> Mr. Saturn oh. with first damage. And you're lying to her. It's true. Oh, Mike and Ike, best not forget he has counterattacks. They can be very damaging against Mr. Shadow. Especially against if he tries to PK Thunder himself into Mike and Ike. They're just standing there. Yeah, they're waiting for them to someone to make the first move. Oh, well, that looks strange. <laughs> uh, that, that was a little weird. That was a little over the line. Mike and Ike at 122% now, Mr. Saturn at 16. But if the previous match was to anything to say, we should not discredit Mike and Ike. Come on, Blair Blair. Come watch the finals with us. <laughs> Mike and Ike put Mr. Saturn to 69%. Mike and Ike himself, though, at 147. This is... A lot of just standing around. Oh, and Mike and Ike Man, loses the first, the first stock. Mr. Saturn with first blood. There you go. Uh-oh. Mike and Ike avoids the chance to try and use a counterattack. <laughs> oh! Mr. Saturn gets hit by a powerful sword attack. Mr. Saturn coming at Mike and Ike with a yo yo attack. Pay attention to me, you paid attention too long. <laughs> When are you gonna unleash some of those famous counters, Mike and Ike? Mike and Ike. Whoa! Dodges just in time. Mr. Saturn gets the grab. Uh oh. Ooh. Nice choice to move by Mike and Ike. Indeed. Lots of dodging and shielding at this point. I think he's just seeing how many times he can jump over Mr. Oh jeez, Mike and Ike takes a solid back kick from Mr. Saturn. Both of these competitors playing really defensively. Mike and Ike really needs to go the offensive. Mike and Ike's definitely avoiding those PK Thunder launches. Yeah, definitely. Even though he's been hanging from the edge. Ooh, Mike and Ike at 141 on his second life. Mr. Saturn still on his first. Oh, 
Oh, good dodge by Mike and I. Not good enough. Not good enough. He needs to get a KO and quickly. Let me do it. No. Not yet. His kicks aren't strong enough. The power is in the sword. There it is! There it is. There it is. But now Mike and Ike at 180% against Mr. Saturn Zero. Double handed down slash. Oh. Oh! Mike and Ike taken out by a back throw from Mr. Saturn. But health wise are on even ground now. And yeah. Mike and Ike down a whole life though to Mr. Saturn. If he's gonna pull out what he did with Pesh, he needs to do it now. Yeah. Well, by all, by all rise, Mr. Saturn should have been dead right there because he had the sword through, the <laughs> through his head. Ah, uh, but Grand Arbiter Mega Gengar won't let silly things like that happen. Well, he just walked by and ran through his head. Oh, I don't know. Maybe Mr. Saturn has a little Noitera in him. A little what now? Noitera. He's, he's uh, one of the tennis spotters. I have no idea what that Bleach. is. Uh, I don't watch Bleach. <laughs> you should. Then you will get the reference. Well, hopefully someone out there on the internet gets the reference. Mike and I, 60%. Mr. Saturn at 15. Just hang in there. Yeah. This is... There is this very standoffish fight. Mike and Ike needs to play defensive, though. Mr. Saturn. Uh, I was going for Mike and Ike, but it looks like it's going to be Mr. Saturn. Yeah. All the evidence points to him. But maybe, just maybe, Mike and Ike can pull out some fancy counters. There he goes. He's trying something now. Yeah, I don't know the Saturn's gonna give him a chance though. Oh, gets a good hit on Mr. Saturn. Mike that's gonna I, be yep, it for Mike and I. Yeah, we have a new champion. Mr. Saturn. Mr. S you know, I know what it was. What? It was all those, it was uh, that hour I spent playing Earthbound with Mr. Saturn. Ha I had him watch the whole hour. He must have picked up something from his original game that made him say, oh, that's, that's what it is. That's what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing. <laughs> Mr. Saturn is the great Amiibo champion number four. Let's go give him a brand new item to celebrate his victory. In a terminated, dominated, in a tournament, to blah. Use your words. In a tournament dominated by veterans, the newcomers had no chance. And our new champion is the veteran, Mr. Saturn. He got some good stuff here. Glider X attack, lightweight shoes, a super brawn badge, a high quality dress. Never underestimate the power of a high quality dress. And some well-worn boots, as well as 82 gold. Let's see what we can give to our good friend, Mr. Saturn. Let's check out some special moves. We've got a PK Flash. Got a uh, rising PK Flash. Just keeps going. And a PK Freeze. Lucas's uh, PK attack. PK Bonfire. Doesn't travel as far, but the Flame Pillars stick around longer. That's not bad. PK Thunder, a lasting PK Thunder. Doesn't disappear when it hits an opponent, but deals less damage. That'll help in recovery if a... Uh, ooh, a forward side magnet. It can launch foes when vanishing, as well as absorb projectiles. Hmm. Several mm -hmm. choices. I just say roll a D4. <laughs> well, and then I'd have to roll a D3 between... Or, a, and then I'd have to pick. You know, I almost, uh, I almost want to go with the last thing. Oh, but that won't launch him as far. Yeah. I know and he that. He uses that for recovery. Mm -hmm. well, bonfire is good, and the PK Freeze. I'm going to do a PK Freeze, actually. PK Freeze. All right. Let's see what we can do to 
help out our friend. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Because that's where a majority of the uh, special ability things are. And as always, we don't want to slant someone too much. <laughs> a Mr. Saturn Brawn Badge. <laughs> it's thematically appropriate, but I don't think so. Mm -mm. Launch opponents, running speed, jump speed, uh, escape more easily from being grabbed, stunned, and etc. Uh, times four damage to prone targets. Uh, perfect shield helper, that's not bad. Really destroys his defense, though. Slight, slowly increase attack defense and speed for 20 seconds from damage. That's what too fast for me, Mm hmm. When launching enemies upward. Trade off speed, sir. Start 30, but move 1.3. Eh. Eh. Huh. I mean, down, but eh. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad seeing as we're doing time stuff now. Ray gun gloves. Start battles with a ray gun. You don't need that. Ooh. Item pitcher. Oh, that's not bad either. Ba bomb. Ray gun, item pitcher, invincible for 10 seconds, star battles, lipstick, fire flower, invincible, stop on a dime. Hmm. That's not bad. Charge smash attacks faster when holding the attack button. It's a double final smasher. <sighs> <sighs> The dreaded double final smash badge. Nobody's getting that. That would be a little OP. It would be. Oh, oh. Explosive shield. Shield against an attack with perfect timing to create an explosion. I think that's what, what it's going to be. It'll be a repeat, but it's a good one. Oh, it's explosive shield is a really good ability. I'm going to do it. The explosive shield. All right, he's really low in speed and just a little bit of defense, but his, his shield goes boom. Yep, boom. All right, Amiibo tournament number four, champion deathmatch. Who's it gonna be? For the past two, The Undertaker has taken the victory. Yeah. But, uh, but Mr. Shattern Took some names this time. Oh, he took a lot of names. First! Too fast for me. Then The Undertaker. Second, The Undertaker. Sweet Daddy DDD. And, and our new and champion. Mr. Saturn. Three stock, three live. No time limit. No special items. Final destination. Who is the champion of champions? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! Too fast for me and Dad and EDD are punching bags. Yeah. Mr. Saturn only at 10% right now. Oh, gets a perfect shield off. Mm. Oh! What just happened? Um, I don't know, but... His shield's oh, been broken. Yeah. And no one took advantage of it. PK Freeze. Almost. I think I know what off. happened. The Undertaker did a counterattack and destroyed some faces. <laughs> well, too fast for me special is active, but it may not be enough. His special just, just ran out. Uh-oh, there goes the Undertaker. Yeah, at over 250%. There goes too fast for me. Mr. Saturn at, uh... Three lives still. He's still taking some names. Do we have a new champion oh, of champions? A, a good dodge. dodge from Daddy DDD. Otherwise, he probably would have been taken out. There's a very good chance of that. Oh, nearly gets a good hammer smash. Oh, there's a counter. Oh, and Daddy DDD taken out by the original champion. Too fast, fast for me. Oh. Good air game, but Mr. Saturn 
Still resting comfortably at three lives. Oh, he goes for the Pick of Thunder! Oh. His signature attack! And Oak smashes the Undertaker, but it was not enough to take him out. Oh, there goes the Undertaker! Undertaker down to his final life. Same for Sweet Daddy Dedede. Too fast for me on his second. Mr. Saturn. Sitting, so much sitting damage. Sitting comfortably at 211% with three lives. The, whoa! Too comfortably is a uh, little, little bit of an understatement. Of oh, there he goes. He's gone. Finally taken out by the Undertaker. Sweet Daddy Dedede taken out by Too Fast for Me. Ho! Oh, too Fast for Me taken out by the Undertaker. Mr. Saturn still sitting on two lives. PK Freeze. Still hasn't gotten the hang of that new move yet. Oh, and he takes out the Undertaker with his signature attack. It's the original champion versus the new champion. Definitely champion of champions. Oh, almost gets a good back air attack on Mr. Saturn. Too fast for me. He's going to have to play fairly smart. Oh! Gets the perfect shield and explodes him! Eighty-three percent for Mr. Saturn. Too fast for me, he's biding his time. Yep. Just letting Mr. Saturn come to him. And he's taking care to stand back far enough from the edge so that the PK Thunder launch oh. does not hit him. Yep. Still hasn't gotten the hang of that freeze. He's trying though. It's all it's all about understanding what you're doing with yourself. Mr. Saturn at 149%, too fast for me. Doing a good job of mitigating damage. Yeah. Oh, almost gets a double kick. It's a nice back throw. Oh, good nice, job avoiding. Yeah, oh, nice perfect choice shield. To dodge. His special is active, but will it be enough to save too fast for oh, me? Oh, he may not get a chance to use we it. We might have a new two. Well, I mean, we do have a new champion of champions, but... A new, new one. A new, new one. Oh! There goes Ooh, Mr. Saturn. Nice throw. But now Mr. Saturn has the advantage. Indeed. Too fast. Oh, again with the perfect shield. Mr. Saturn may not know much. Oh, no! That is it. Too fast for me to not mitigate enough damage. Mm -mm. He didn't take into account that perfect shield. Mr. Saturn, with a with a perfect streak of victories throughout the entire championship and taking down the other three champions with him. Well, gang, it's been fun. That was a good tournament. Um, Join us for the next Amiibo tournament. When... Um, See, I don't I don't know when it'll be. I don't know when we're going to get more Amiibos. I know. Aren't Mii Fighters supposed to come out soon? Uh, the Mii Fighters come out in November. And uh, Falco comes out soon as well, in fact. Because the new Starbucks game is coming out. And uh, Mewtwo is due soon, isn't it? Mewtwo is due soon. They were... They got... Um, I mean, they're, they're already getting pre-orders up for him in uh, foreign countries. Like Australia and, and, yeah. and stuff. But... Uh... Ryu is still going to be a long ways out. Yeah, Ryu, Lucas, and Roy, no announcement on them. All right, friends, this has been the Great Amiibo Tournament number four. Oh, I held up three fingers there. Changed it to four at the, at the, at the very end. Um, join us next time when we're going to have more smashes, more fun, more, more crazy uh, things, more stuff. It's going to be great. See you later. Yeah.